Hi everyone, Adam here. Today we're going to be talking about databases. Databases are quite dry, but important for power users, so I'm going to do my best to make this as flashy and as memorable as possible. I've talked about databases extensively in workshops, which by the way you can sign up for in the description to this video. But I'd like to go over them once more in a bit more depth today. I've been personally getting a bunch of questions about them, and as we move towards next year's product, many people might be interested in using their ACDC 2019 databases in the new product. Okay, so if you're using ACDC, you've probably figured out that the images you're previewing and editing are a direct representation of your hard drive. When you manage your files in this case by tagging a file or adding a keyword, well, where is this information being stored? Funny you should ask, because it's being stored in the database. The database is how we hold the following information. This is information we reference each time you open the program. So things like image thumbnails, categories, color labels, face detection names, ratings, and ACDC metadata. These are things like notes and author. Now, here are some examples of things that are not stored in the database. Things like your images, for example. Um, IPTC and EXIF metadata, and development sidecar files. When you open up ACDC for the first time, regardless of whether or not you care about things like ratings and labels, ACDC has gone ahead and created a database for you. By default, the database is called, well, default. You can verify this by navigating to File, Database, and Open. As you can see here, ACDC names database files with the .dbin file type. Okay, great Adam, thank you. But I want a new database with a much cooler sounding name than that one. So to do so, I would create a new database by simply navigating to File, database, and then new. Okay, so now you have a database. Let's hypothetically fast forward to managing your files, editing, and having a grand old time. Well, it's now two months later, and you've developed a catalog that is worth maintaining. So I bet your first question is, how do I save my database information? The answer to that question is that it's already been saved. So as you browse a folder, manage, rate, etc., with an ACDC, it is automatically saving that information and adding it to your database. This brings us to a neat fact about databasing. If you navigate to Tools, Database, and Catalog Files, this enables you to catalog entire folders that you wouldn't normally browse. That would be the case when you have, for example, an external hard drive with images on them. In this case, you might have thousands of files on those hard drives, but rarely spend any time on them. What's useful about this catalog files tool is that things like thumbnails, EXIF, and IPTC data, and other variables, that you can check or uncheck, by the way, if you'll notice right here. These things can be cataloged in the background while you work. This is fundamental if you're going to be working off of these drives but can't waste time loading each individual thumbnail during your workflow. So what you'll do is you'll simply catalog the files ahead of time in the background while you're working on other projects. So we've developed a database, and we'd like to move this database to the next version of the product. 
So the question is, Adam, can I just open my existing database into 2020? Uh, no, not quite. Because we're moving an older database file to a new product, we need to first convert our database. So you can find the conversion wizard from Tools, Database, Convert Database. The tool itself will allow you to choose the version from which you are converting from, and then the directory location of the .dbin file. Click Next to move through the process of database conversion. When the database conversion is complete, the program will import the database after a quick restart. The last thing I find really pertinent to discuss is the Database Maintenance tab. You can find Database Maintenance under Tools, Database, and Database Maintenance. This tool has a variety of functions, but the most important being if one has moved folders that contain images that would be subject to your database information. It will help you reassign that database information to those files. So here's an example. You had a great database a year ago. Uh, in folder Thanksgiving dinner, you had um, folder asparagus, and folder Brussels sprout that each contained 1,000 images. You last browsed your database and therefore saved it around them. If you move that folder Brussels sprout to your external drive and later you search some images uh, in that folder and try to take one into view mode, you will get a message that uh, the file in this case doesn't exist anymore. It might have been moved or even deleted. You can use database maintenance uh, and rebind that folder so that the database knows the file's new location. Okay, so that's a lot of information about databases in this case. But for me, the takeaways are as follows. So what does a database preserve? Image thumbnails, categories, color labels, face detection names, ratings, and ACDC metadata. Um, databases are saved automatically. And finally, that you must convert an old database to use it in a newer product. Thanks for watching this tutorial video on databases. Please like, comment, or subscribe. And as always, you can find more tutorials on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.